Hello everyone, this is my first video on YouTube and it's called the best Mac apps for 2013 July. So let's get started and let's open the applications folder. The first app here is AirParrot. AirParrot allows you AirPlay uh, your Mac to your Apple TV. So basically whatever you see on the screen on your Macintosh computer, you will see also on your TV. The next app here is Cubase. Cubase is a professional uh, recording studio. So basically you can record your own vocals to the music and you can create your own instrumentals. It's really professional software. For In my opinion, it is better than Logic and Pro Tools. Uh, maybe because I'm using it for many years, even before I've got my first Macintosh computer. I was using it on the Windows XP. Next application here is GarageBand. GarageBand is really similar to Cubase, but Cubase, of course, is a lot more professional. Next application here is iMovie. iMovie is a video editing software. So basically, you can make some good movies with this uh, application. Next folder here is uh, internet and inter in internet I have Skype and transmission. Transmission is a torrent download application. So basically you can download some torrents with this application and it is really quick and the uh, interface is really nice. It's really small and yeah, that's transmission. Next application here is iPhoto. iPhoto is a really good application. Basically, it is a photo library plus a photo editing software. And next folder here is media. In media, I have VLC. VLC enables you to watch uh, almost any format of videos and uh, almost any uh, format of uh, music at least the most popular ones. Memory Clean is an application that uh, cleans your RAM memory. For example, your Macintosh computer is working for a few days and you have only 500 megabytes of free RAM memory. You can press this button and it will clean your inactive memory and it will run to your active memory. So you're going to have more memory and your computer will run faster. Next folder here is Office and in Office I have iWork 2009 and Microsoft Office. In iWork I have Keynote, Numbers and Pages and in Microsoft Office I have Excel, Outlook, PowerPoint and Word. I'm using iWork more just because I have a Macintosh computer and I don't need uh, to use the Microsoft Office anymore. Uh, next application here is Eloquent. Eloquent is a Bible on your Macintosh. It's a really good application to study Bible. You can take notes, have your bookmarks. Here you have your chapters and books. And also you have a search engine here. So for example, we're going to search for John 3.12. And this is the verse that it's really quick. It's a really good application. Next folder here is system. In system, I have uh, App Cleaner. App Cleaner is a really, really good application to uninstall your unwanted application. For example, I want to uninstall this application and it uh, search for any files that are associated with this application and you simply press delete and it uninstalls the application. And the next application here is Coffein. Coffein is a really good application if you're, for example, watching some uh, videos on YouTube and it's not on scre uh, full screen mode. So basically normally after a few minutes your screen will turn off and your computer will go on a sleep mode and this application is made to prevent that. So basically if you turn on this application and right now the cap is empty so the sleep mode is enabled and you click on this 
icon and you can see the cap is filled and right now the screen mode is disabled so your uh, computer will not go on the sleep mode next application here is iBoost app iBoost app basically uh, cleans all the junk you have on the Macintosh computer and if your computer is running slow, slow uh, you can run this application it will search for any junk you have on your computer and basically you can clean that with this application so let's turn off this application next application here is iExplorer iExplorer is an application to browse your uh, iPhone files or iPad files so you turn on this application you can see anything you have on your iPhone or iPad. The next application here is Insomnia. Insomnia is a good application for MacBooks. So basically, normally if you close your MacBook, uh, it will go automatically on the sleep mode. And with this application, you turn on this application and you can close your MacBook and it will not go on the sleep mode. Next application here is Log Me In. And log me in is an application that allows you to uh, control your computer with an iPhone. So basically anything you see on the desktop computer right now, you can see it also from your uh, iPhone and you can launch applications, uh, download some stuff. Uh, pretty much you can do anything like on your normal computer from your iPhone. Even if you are 100 kilometers from your house, you can still control your computer with this application. And next application here is Parallels Desktop. Parallels Desktop uh, is an application which allows you to run two operating systems at one time. So basically, as you can see here, I'm running on my Macintosh and here I have Windows. And you can do anything you can play games you can install application it's acting like normal windows computer right now and plus here you have your macintosh uh, that's all for system and the next folder here is video and in video i have aperture aperture is a really good application it's similar to iphoto but this application is more professional is a photo library and professional photo editing system next application here is final cut pro and final cut pro is a professional video editing software next application here is photoshop photoshop is professional photo editing software and screenflow i'm running it right now and um, screenflow basically records your desktop and that's all for today thanks for watching please subscribe and bye bye